If you've ever watched Dishes before, and you've been in a household with multiple people, you know what soaking is. Not to be confused with the sexual practice of soaking, this, not this, this, not this. And if you didn't feel like reading it, I'll just tell it to you. So pretty much, soaking is pretty much just like, let's imagine I cook some eggs or something like that, and like, they got stuck to the pan or something like that. And so while you're washing them after you're done, it's a bit tough. You're like, hmm, there's gonna be a bit of work. You throw some water, people throw detergent, baking soda in it, but I just threw like some water on it to loosen it up. And typically it'll happen like at the end of the night or something like that, when you're wrapping everything up. And then you'll say, we'll get that in the morning or that's what they say because don't get me wrong the process of soaking is great it's a very useful and i can understand why you would do it if you actually do it these people quite a bit of people in my household and many others i'm sure will do this and just not come back to it and then these villains will have the audacity to come back two days later talking about oh what happened to it i was just letting it soak what you think i'm just gonna let it sit there the kitchen is gonna look filthy if i don't clean it and i won't act like i'm a perfect person i've used the forbidden technique once or twice but these people do it consistently they'll do it 365 the whole year at some point you I come back to wash your dish man if somebody says they're gonna let something soak i just don't believe them. you may have fooled me as a child but now i know you're not just gonna let it soak